Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see me create this new hairstyle. I did some videos recently where I had this curly hair and many of you asked how I did it. So I'm going to take you through the process step by step. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. Around here, we're all about great skincare, great makeup, and general all-around youthing. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you by email of my future videos. Okay, I am blow dried. Here's what my hair looks like blow dried. I'm blow dried and flat ironed and I did have a keratin smoothing treatment about a month ago so my hair does not take as much to blow dry and flat iron as it used to. I also use this little flat iron brush especially for the little I call them weed stalks that I get around my crown kind of the little shorter areas that puff up and look like weed stalks. I just use this little flat iron brush and it just gets them nice and flat. And before I get into showing you how I create the curls, I'll go ahead and show you the products that I used on my hair. The first is this Verb Volume Spray. I absolutely love this. I got it around Christmas in a Sephora Favorites hair kit, and I got the small size, and I went through that, and then I reordered the large size, and it just gives me a little bit more body. I know you can't tell that this is body, but for me, this is more body. And then I ordered some products from Actoli. I ordered a little bundle from John Frieda, and the reason I ordered it is because as part of the four or five product bundle, they were sending the Frizz Ease Three Day Straight Spray, and I absolutely love this. I have probably bought six bottles of this. It really does make your hair wonderfully straight, and amazingly enough, it makes it last for three days. And I did not use this this morning, but this is a fantastic product if you want a straight, sleek look. But I did use another product which they sent, which is the Frizz Ease Dream Curls, and it says apply on the first and second days. And I've been using this for about the three weeks that I've had it. And in fact, this is probably the reason that I started changing my hair out in some of my videos to the curly style because this really did allow me to get curls that lasted, which is very unusual for my very, very straight hair. And you use this on damp hair on the first morning, which is what I did this morning, and then on subsequent mornings, you just spray this on your dry curls and kind of give them a scrunch, and it brings them back to life without frizz. I also used on my damp hair the John Frieda Frizz Ease Daily Nourishment Leave-In Conditioner, and it says here makes frizz prone hair soft and manageable. I really do like it. I generally don't like a leave-in conditioner because it seems to weight my hair down. But in the case of this product, I have not been noticing that and I've been using it for about three weeks. Now let's get into creating curls on this. And the curling iron I'm using is the Brilliance New York Diamond Iron. And I got this at an American Heart Association charity auction maybe about nine months ago. And I really like this little curling iron. In fact, I've ordered several since that time, more high-end. In fact, one from Angie of Hot and Flashy. I can't remember the name of it, but it curls your hair automatically, and it was very expensive, over $100, and I really don't like it. I really just like this nice little basic curling iron. I just start like this and start taking the hairs and going around in a little circle there, away from my face. And I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then I hold it for a count of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then that sets the curl a little bit. And there's the first curl. And then I'll go into the second curl here. And again, I just curl it away from my face and just hold it down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then I just hold it there for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I leave the little ends kind of separate because I don't want to damage them because I do have highly processed hair because as you can tell from the underneath it is really brown and they make it blonde. I started out blonde as a child, very very blonde and then by about seventh grade it started to darken and it got darker and darker and darker over the years. Now not only do I have the dark hair but I have a little bit of gray which is no fun. I've lost count here. 30, 40, 31, 32, 5, 6, 10, 9, 40. Then hold it just for a few minutes. And then there's, that's how it's looking there. And actually, I usually put the straight hair behind, so then I can just pull it to the front, and I don't get confused about what's been curled and what's not. 
It's a little hard to do this without my mirror. Just put it in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's about 40 and hold that like that still rather hot do one more back this way six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six or seven two eight twenty thirty three right there forty and then hold that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm just getting these little spirally curls. Take it like this. Then I turn it like that to where the curls are away from my face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. 40. And you hold that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'll just do the other side off camera. Now both sides are curled. And what I like to do is if I see something that's a little flat, which this side is a little bit flat, I'll just come in and take a little bit of this hair and make it a little bit higher on my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Okay, and then I just hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This gives it a little, little more curl, a little bit higher. I'll do this one too, like this. Just to give it a little more height on the top. And then hold it. Make sure to set that curl in, about 10 seconds or 10 counts. Okay, there we are at this point. Sometimes on the first day when my hair is feeling very thin because it is kind of smooth because of the smoothing treatment, I will give it a little bit of hairspray. And the John Frieda people did send me this Frizz Ease Firm Hold Hairspray. I used it a few mornings, but I felt like it went on a little bit too wet, so I really don't prefer this hairspray. What I like to use is the Kenra Volume Spray. I've used this for quite some time. And I'll go ahead and just spray that in some of the curls, in fact all of the curls, and try to get a little bit of body in there. Now I'll let that dry for a few minutes. Then to give me some body at the crown, I use this Sexy Hair Powder Play Light. I just go in along the crown and put it in there. It's a very interesting product because it goes on feeling a little bit wet, which is odd because it is a powder. Then I just take this side, go in there, to kind of give myself a little bit of body, which is tough on my hair. You all, my hair is really meant to be straight. However, when I use this technique to get the curls, they do last all day, which is wonderful. So that just gave me a little bit more body in there. Then I'm just going to go through and kind of mess with the curls with my hands. Whoops. Now I've messed up my part. So I'll go in and fix that a little bit. And next I'll go in and do a little bit of teasing around the crown. Kind of get that powder play light product to stand up. And then I'll just kind of go in with one of these combs and just kind of give it a little bit more body back there. Now one of the last things I like to do before I put some hairspray in there is to use this Kenra Platinum Dry Textured Spray I love this product. It just goes in and gives some body underneath. This gives you a little more texture, a little more body. It's kind of hard to do this on camera and not in my mirror. I'm using my monitor as my mirror. Now I'll just finish it off with my Kenra Volume Spray. 
Well, that is the finished look with makeup and curls. And I have to say the curls are a little bit difficult for me to get used to because I am a flat iron girl. It's a lot easier for me to work the flat iron than do these curls. However, with this Kimra Volume Hairspray, and I know I sound like an ad here, but I do love this hairspray because it really does keep the curls in all day long, even in this Kansas wind, which is amazing. Now, I wasn't really planning on showing you my second day hair, so I didn't mention it in my first video, so this might be a little odd that I'll just kind of zip this in, but this is actually how I prefer that hairstyle. I kind of think all of the curls on the first day look a little like Bo Peep, like I'm a 60-year-old Bo Peep, and I know a lot of people really like those curls, so you know, let me know which you prefer, but the other is my first day hair, and this is my second day hair on that same style. And I really like it because it has relaxed and it doesn't look quite so done up. What I did was I just took this Sexy Hair Powder Play Light and put it in the crown of my hair again to give it a little bit more lift. And then I used a brush to pull through the curls instead of my fingers as I did yesterday. So that made the curls a little bit looser. And then to give it a little bit more body down here, I again used the Kenra Platinum Dry Textured Spray which I really do like this because it does give me a little bit of volume. And so that's kind of how it looks. And it's just kind of flippy and a little more casual, which I really like. And now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe. That just will notify you of my future videos. Just this morning, I applied day three of my new skincare regime, which I'm really excited to show you. Hope I have good results, and I will be showing you befores and afters. So clicking that little bell is a great way to get future notification of my skincare and youthing videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I need this, ladies, very badly today. This is the Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay, and I've taken out the duplicates, so we're winding down here on the cards, and I just ordered a new card deck, actually. Okay, I am worthy of my own love. I am worthy of my own love. I love this. Write a love note to yourself. What is it that you most need or want to hear? Well, right now, I most need to hear, quite honestly, that my kids are going to do okay, that the universe has their back, and I know that the universe does. My one son has a business, and he's going through some challenges right now, and my second son is looking for a great relationship. My kids are 34 and 30. They're no longer kids. They're young men. So, Lord, hold them in the palm of your hand, as I know they are, and give them just what they need. So ladies, back to the card. Today, write a little love note to yourself and tell yourself exactly what you need to hear. Well friends, today I diverged a little bit on my own issues, but today I hope you'll write a little love note to yourself because friends, when we love and support ourselves with great words and kind thoughts, we can have a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.